for me, this is such a special evening, and, and it represents so much of what I think needs to happen to transform K-12 education. If I could wave a wand and change one thing, what would it be in K-12 education in America? And I said that if I could do it, I would make teaching in public schools the most respected and glorified profession of them all in America. I really believe that because I think the future of this nation depends on how we educate our children. The demands of the 21st century really are going to place enormous challenges before us as a nation. Even today, in this very rough economy, there are jobs out there for kids who are not prepared with the skills necessary for those jobs. And so what's happening here tonight, in some ways, is the fulfillment of the dream that I articulated last night where really great math teachers at multiple levels supporting each other come together in what I think is as beautiful a venue as this city has to offer. And what are we here doing tonight? We're celebrating greatness in public school teaching. And there's something that in that that's so emblematic of where we need to get. And I give Jim Simons great credit for having conceptualized and understood that and not only the financial support and the academic support and the professional development, but yes to the celebration of greatness. There's something wonderful about being in a room full of teachers who are sitting around and who represent the best and the most committed and the most talented and to shine literally a spotlight on all of that. Nothing gives me more pride and indeed more joy than to salute the math teachers who work in our schools in this city, changing the lives of kids, and who are here tonight for one reason, because excellence is the characteristic that is most associated with your work. You've been singled out for that, and on your resumes, you should understand that excellence is what will drive the future of this nation, and excellence in teaching, commitment to children, a willingness not to say, that somebody who grew up in poverty or in challenged environments can't become the nation's next great mathematician. Thank you all for what you do for the kids in New York City.